Welcome back to Life's Pages. Now, for years, parents have been proud of their children and how quickly their children have developed compared to the norm, mostly stemming from this book, The Standard Baby Project by Dr. Gavin Ilyich. But should we believe this book? At four months, my little princess was able to roll over on her own. My baby was able to crawl at nine months. My little girl could say mom and dad at eight months. That's two years faster than the average baby. Yeah, according to what? The Standard Baby Project. The Standard Baby Project was a brainchild of mine from back in the late 70s. I sought to answer the question, what is normal? Because women kept coming to my office asking me, what is normal? Or my child's progressing at such and such a rate, is that normal? So I sought to find the most average baby from a population of babies at the Lindenburg Municipal Hospital. And I'd use this average baby as a measurement tool to measure other babies against, to measure their normalcy. Sort of a barometer in baby form. Dr. Illich is a moron. His methods of finding the standard baby were unconventional and illogical. I mean, technically speaking, the average baby can do a better job finding the average baby than Dr. Illich. He was the first and last person to use an average meter, an unimpressive rod-like device he claimed to accurately measure the made-up term averageness. Using my patented average meter, next slide please, next slide please, I was able can to... Can you explain that last slide? Uh, can, there'll be no interruptions during today's presentation, thank you. I was able to pinpoint, using the magic of statistics, the exact location of the most average baby, shown here on the bell curve of averageness, used measuring baby averageness with the least average, average average, and most... With all due respect, sir, that grabs oh, clearly. I, there. The sample size is only one. I, I know that now! Through observing patient X, we've discovered the following benchmarks to be average or normal. For instance, in a little under a year, he can start tracking objects with his eyes. Dr. Illich's standard baby had an 18-month gestation period and came out with a full body of hair. The average baby can walk with support at two years of age. The average baby can walk without support at 15 months. At about 8 months, he can show that he likes to play. The average baby can draw with crayons at 12 years of age. The actual baby can open doors at 3 years. Average babies cannot open doors. Ever. Can that mutant still not open a door? The average baby is fully potty trained at 6 months of age. The average baby also forgets its potty training three months later and never relearns it. I actually published an article a week after disproving the Standard Baby Project, but parents continue to ignore it so they can feel better about the development of their child. The kid's a freak. At one and a half years, my baby stopped using a sippy cup. At four months, my baby was able to sleep through the night, and that is at least Five months, faster than the average baby. At nine years old, she started finger painting. That's a lot earlier than the standard baby. And I know she's going to start going in the toilet again. After showing Ilyich the past segment, Ilyich had no comment, but did urge us to get ready for his new book that he wrote about sexology, what Ilyich claims to be a new religion for women who say that they watch Sex in the City religiously. We'll be right back.